Hey guys, I'm back with part two of how to build a healthy marriage, how to build healthy relationships. So here's a big one. Pick your battle. Pick your battles. Don't be quick to fight. See, don't waste time nitpicking. If you believe the issue uh, that you have with your spouse, with your partner is truly important, well, discuss it with them, approach them in a spirit of love and discuss it with them with respect. Don't be disrespectful. If you approach them with love, let me share something with you. There's a saying, you win bees with honey. Are you following what I'm saying? So come in a spirit of love and I guarantee you that it will uh, dismantle uh, them from wanting to be on defense because you're being kind, you're being respectful, so it's hard for them to refute your, uh, the spirit that you're coming in with whatever it is that concerns you. Now, the next thing is, is that it's important that we all serve, right? Uh, and I'm not talking about at work or in the community. Try to be the biggest servant in your house. Try to be the biggest servant in your marriage, in your relationships. And don't keep score of how well your spouse is serving you. Instead, ask yourself, how can you better serve your spouse? How can you better serve your partner? Why? Because he who serves wins. He who loves the biggest wins. I'm going to share something with you. The seed that you sow is the harvest that you'll reap. And then here's a big one. Remember this, your spouse can never and will never meet all of your needs. Why? Because they're not designed to meet all of your needs. You have to look to God to be your source uh, of satisfaction uh, and build friendships. Listen to me, meaningful relationships and friendships that actually support your marriage, your family construct. And, and so again, your spouse will never be the sole source of all of your answers or pro, so, uh, solving all of your problems. So it's important that you understand that God gives you a multitude of counsel. He'll give you other people to help you solve your problems as well. And I'm not talking about running to people of the opposite sex to help you solve your problems. And then here's the next thing that I think will bless you. Keep in mind that you don't always need to offer solutions. I had to learn that the hard way. You know, sometimes my wife just wants me to listen. She doesn't want me to be Mr. Fix-It. Anybody like me? You like to fix things? Let's fix this. Get this problem out the way. No, sometimes just a hug, compassion, and a listening ear communicates more love than your advice. Well, that's it. For these nuggets today, I hope you've been blessed by it. Let us know. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the other side.